What's up guys? This is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I'm going to be talking about the first season of the reboot of Doctor Who. Um, basically from 2005 on is what I'm going to be reviewing. Um, so this is the ninth Doctor with Christopher Eccleston. And so this is uh, my review of season one. So basically Doctor Who is a show about this guy. He's a time traveler, uh, and he's known as the Doctor. That's it. Just the Doctor. Um, doesn't have a last name, first name, nothing. It's just the Doctor. And what he does is he travels throughout space and time uh, to different galaxies, different worlds, uh, different time periods, and you know he will try and save the planet. In, in more or less terms. And basically, the first episode, he shows up and helps a girl named Rose. And eventually he asks Rose to travel with him, which she ends up going with him, and they go on these many adventures. Um, and, you know, they see aliens of all sorts. There's, you know, aliens that are hidden on Earth in present time. There's you know, futuristic sets and just all sorts of stuff. And one of the running themes with this season was a thing called Bad Wolf. And Bad Wolf is something that keeps appearing uh, throughout many of the episodes. And they're not quite sure what it means, you know, what it is, anything like that. They are trying to figure it out throughout, and it's one of those things that when you figure it out, it is rather interesting, but I'm not going to get into spoilers or anything in case someone hasn't seen it. Uh, I actually, this is my first time watching Doctor Who. Uh, I know several people, I have several friends who are big, big fans of it. I just never sat down and watched it. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised, but, you know, it's one of those shows that I wasn't sure if I was going to get into or not, and I, I did enjoy season one. I will admit that it did take me quite a bit of time to really get into the show. Um, it took at least five or six episodes before I really got what the show was and ultimately started enjoying it. Let me quickly talk about uh, the Doctor, uh, Christopher Eccleston, and uh, Billy Piper, the girl who plays Rose. Um, Christopher Eccleston does a really good job as the Doctor. Uh, he brings a humorous charm to the entire role. I, I really enjoyed his charm. I thought he had some very funny moments. He was able to hold his own as uh, the, main, uh, the main lead and you know he made it quite enjoyable. Um, Billy Piper, she was also very good as uh, Rose, you know, the human who travels with him. Uh, she, she does a really good job. Uh, no complaints from her. The a lot of the side characters are very enjoyable. Um, there's a character that you meet closer to the end of the season uh, named Jack. He is uh, he's a very enjoyable character as well. I really liked his character. Um, and there's several others that appear, and uh, so there's some cameos throughout, and just all sorts of stuff. I mean, it it really is kind of an enjoyable sci-fi uh, action thriller, uh, is what I'd kind of place it as. I'll go ahead and list off my five favorite uh, episodes of the season. Uh, number five was the episode that really drew me into the entire show, uh, and that is Dalek. This one is basically the sixth episode of the season, and this is the one that really drew me in and had me kind of like, okay, this is a rather neat show. Uh, I don't know why it was this episode. It's probably because I've heard so much about the Daleks that it finally, like, oh, hey, there's the Dalek. You know, I was able to relate to, you know, having known what it is and everything. Um... That's possibly it, but I still enjoyed this episode. I thought it was rather neat to see that the Dalek, you know, starts to have, like, human emotions and stuff when he's programmed to be, 
you know, very calculated and emotionless. And I thought that was a really neat aspect of it. There's some cool stuff that happens throughout. Uh, and overall, I did like this episode. Uh, my number four favorite episode was uh, Bad Wolf. I'm not going to say any spoilers here, but I will say that it was very enjoyable and uh, there was a lot of twists and turns throughout this episode that I did not see coming and was very, uh, very surprised by. But I'll just leave it at that. Number three is uh, the eighth episode, I believe, and that was Father's Day. Uh, basically, Rose goes back in time to save her father from dying. And when, once she does so, shit hits the fan. That's all I'm going to say. But this was a very fun and uh, sincere episode. Um, it had enough heart to it, and it had enough, you know, action and, you know, suspense and stuff to really make a very enjoyable and very well-crafted episode. Uh, my number two favorite episode was Parting of the Ways. This was the season finale. I'm not going to get into any spoilers. In fact, I'm probably not even going to mention anything about it at all, other than uh, there's definitely some great twists and turns throughout, and it was very surprising uh, to see what happens in the end. I really enjoyed this episode. It was very enjoyable. Uh, so that's my number two. And my number one favorite episode was The Empty Child. This episode is one that literally freaked me the hell out. Um, yeah, I... <laughs> uh, for those who know what I'm talking about, this was probably one of the most uh, disturbing episodes that has happened as of yet. I mean, I haven't seen anything past season one, so there might be still others, but uh, this was definitely the creepiest episode I've seen. Uh, they really do a nice job at building suspense and, you know, bringing these characters and, you know, objects to uh, a creepy fashion. You know, they do a really good job at building tension and, you know, making it an all-around creepy and enjoyable episode. So, that's my top five. I did really enjoy this season. I thought it was uh, very enjoyable overall. I mean, like I said, it did take me the first five episodes I just could not get into. Uh, whatever reason, I'm not sure, but I just was having a hard time getting into the show. And once I got past that, and I'm not sure how I feel about this, and then you know the Dalek episode happened and everything else after that was rather enjoyable and neat. And I, I'm glad I saw it. So I'm excited for season two. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, for this video, I'm going to give Season 1 an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, very enjoyable overall, and definitely recommend it. So tell me guys, have you seen Doctor Who Season 1? If you have, what would you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Share your thoughts on the TV show. Comment below, let me know. Love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you have any movie suggestions or TV suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, I'm Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.